I love snow. Reminds me of Transylvania. We have a customer looking for a Prius plug-in battery. And I got a hint from one of my people. Kind of cold today. Going on, you right? Yeah. All good? Yeah, all good. It's exactly what we're looking for. It's low mileage, there's no CCTV, no ring doorbells. It's time to go get to work. Perfect. Ooh, sexy. Maybe next time. The owner of the car is night work, so we have to do it on the daytime. If I feel bad for the car owner, why? You will get paid by the insurance company. I'm not a bad guy here. Bad guy are the people building a car with a wireless remote control working 24 7. The one they build a car, we can be drive away without the key inside. I'm not trying making excuses, but the truth is. I really enjoying it. was just a movie. The only real part from that movie is the device we used. Welcome back and this time we have to speak about car theft using a relay or amplifier or the middleman. Uh, before we start you should be worried if you have a keyless car. With 68 cars stolen every day from London this is a big problem. You should be scary. I'm scary. I'm scary every time I'm looking on the mirror. <laughs> it's just a joke. Anyway, this is a big problem, okay? So uh, I just built a device, a repeater. It's a poor repeater, but just to check few security and how we can secure our car. Okay, one important thing that I want to check today is those Faraday's cage pouch. I mean, they are really, really safe. And you will think, okay, sorry, but if you put the key inside, we cannot open the car, and that's, that's right. But don't forget, someone which will go to come to steal your car, they come with amplifier, and they can amplify the signal like five times, 10 times, 50 times. So any signal which is escaping from here, can be cached and uh, amplified, okay? Before we start, let's understand how this system works. Just because understanding the, the system, the repeater, we can protect better. So a repeater uh, is, uh, has two parts. It's one part, from the, uh, the one part from the car, which has a low frequency part and uh, the high frequency part. And the second part, which uh, they are trying, to get the signal from your house and the uh, same part of a high frequency and a low frequency coil. Usually they use uh, a Wi-Fi connection between two, those two mo uh, modules. Uh, I haven't spent time uh, to, you, to build a Wi-Fi connection, I just use a wire, okay? So for our purposes a wire is just, uh, it's just great. Now, how much it costs to build these kind of devices? I mean, uh, don't get me wrong, but all what I paid was 15 pounds for the cable, for this coax cable from Amazon. Uh, the other parts, I just found them around the, around the house. Okay, so let's test one more time the device. 
and see how it works. Okay, so we take, I will take the key out from here. I will move the key with, uh, with this uh, part which is going, you know, the people are looking for signal. I will move it away from the, from the car. I mean, hopefully it will not catch the, the signal from the key. Let's see. No, okay? So the car is locked. But soon, as I get the device close to the handle, I can open the car. Okay? So that's how, uh, how those things work. Now, let's try again, but let's put the key inside of the Faraday's uh, cage pouch. Okay, so now it's inside and I'll move the key in exactly the same place. Now let's try again. Let me lock the car. I forgot to lock the car. So I'll move the key next to the, the repeater, to the amplifier. And now let's try to open the car. And I can't do it anymore. Yeah. So looks like they are uh, they are quite safe. But you know what? Like how I said, this is a poor repeater. Let's test on a different way. Yeah. Let me get the computer, and we can test the signal which coming out from this. Okay. So what you can see here, we have the laptop. We have a spectrum analyzer. And here we have uh, the spectrum analyzer box. So what I will do, I will get the signal, yeah? I will get the signal exactly from the output of this one, yeah? So this, it will be our receiver and transmitter, and I will get the signal from here. So I unplug the cable, the other end of the cable, plug it here on the box. And now we have the amplifier yeah, connected exactly to this uh, spectrum analyzer box. Now let's start the program and test, okay? So I'll get the key, that's the key. Now pressing the key, just pay attention on the screen. Let me see if I can zoom more. Okay, so pay attention on the screen, pressing the key, and actually you will see the signal. You can see the signal. So uh, we have around minus 80 decibel, and obviously the frequency is always different. Okay, you can see the signal. So this is a good test. So the amplifier is here. If I go close to the antenna, you can see the signal levels is going up. Okay, so that's how this works. Now, let's put the key inside of this Faraday's cage pouch. Uh, let's press the button. So I'm pressing the button and actually no signal, it's escaping from this uh, pouch. Even if I go close to the antenna, nothing. So this is quite safe to be used. Okay, this is quite safe to be used. So even if you do with the amplifier, uh, they can't get a signal. And without, without, we can see the signal there. Now one misconception about uh, the repeater. Uh, the people think, okay, if I'll take the key out, out upstairs, I will be safe. And I believe that's a lie because uh, the low frequency part, uh, the low frequency is penetrating the walls very good. So you are not safe, even if you take your, uh, your key upstairs. Now, how this happened? I mean, we are in 2022 and uh, we are feeling so unsafe. I mean, on those days, I mean, uh, you know, more unsafe compared with like 20 years ago with having a mechanical key. Well, it's easy to blame the thieves, yeah? 
but really having a key working 24 seven, it's, it's, it's insane. I mean, they can easily fit inside a motion sensor or a proximity sensor or even a mechanical power switch so we can switch the remote. Now I know there are cars you have to press the key, I don't know, a few times and the remote it will deactivate, but that's annoying because you have to do it when you go inside of the house. Then when you come back to the car, you have to do it again. It's annoying. Also, it's annoying to put the key every time on a Faraday's cage pouch. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. I mean, why they didn't fit uh, uh, just a power switch on the remote. That would be more easier. A power switch looks old fashioned. Well, Apple didn't think that. And actually I have a, a mechanical switch on the silent button. It's not old fashioned. So they have somehow to come out from their ignorance, accept this is a security flow and uh, do something about it. I mean, I feel more safe if I will have a power switch. I feel more safe if I'm taking the battery out from this. Now, this is not a paid advertised video, but anyway, I will leave a link on the description about this uh, pouch. I, I think I bought it from Amazon for about seven pounds. And uh, I was surprised to find out, actually, even with the amplifier, I cannot take the signal out. So uh, I believe this is our experiment about, uh, about this, the keyless car's theft. And I did more uh, testing. Even uh, I opened the remote, I tried to, I disconnect the antenna from inside of the remote and indeed the range get a lot more smaller, but still with the amplifier, yeah, they can amplify the signal and still steal your car. Okay. So I will stop now. I will say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And don't worry, on the, on the intro video, no car has been stolen. But you have to keep an eye open and uh, take care of your car. Bye.